What's up amigos, welcome to Build Up. For today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I did five color separation in Photoshop. Now, this separation I actually did a while back. I just haven't had a chance to do this video. Um, it's actually for Brand Carvers Junkies. Uh, it's actually the second time I'm doing this design, uh, the color separation. The first time I did it, I used my, kind of like my previous video where I use Illustrator and Photoshop, but this time I'm going to be using um, Photoshop by itself. So yeah, so let's get started. Okay, Migos, so let's start. Now here's the design. Um, this is, is my second time doing the separation. The first time I didn't actually use like my previous video where I use Illustrator, Photoshop, along with QPDF, but this time I'm going to be using Photoshop. And I already, already have the design to scale. So all I'm gonna do now is just copy it and I'm gonna go to Photoshop, create a new document. And it's gonna be 30 by 19 cause that is the film that it's gonna be printed on. Control V to paste. Now let me delete this layer since there's nothing on there. And again, make sure your design is the scale that you want cause the last thing you wanna do is do all the separations, do the hat tones, then later find out that the size you're working on was not the correct one. So just make sure you do, uh, do that right. So we're gonna go to channels. And the very first thing I do is I make a new channel, which is gonna be the t-shirt. So you just click this one right here is create new channel. I'm not gonna double click on it. And I'm gonna make a t-shirt. Change the spot color, even black, cause that's the color I'm gonna be using, 100%. Click OK. Next step is the under base. So now I'm going to go back to layers and I'm going to hit control and click on the layer and it's going to select everything. Then we're going to go back to channels and now I'm going to invert it. So control shift I. Then we're going to click this icon here that says um, save selection as channel. And now we're going to double click on it. Uh, it's going to be the under base. So I'm just going to get under base spot color, we turned it all the way to white. And for this one, I'm gonna put it at 95%. Click OK. Now control D to deselect everything. So we have it on the base. I'm now, the color that I'm gonna be using is I'm gonna be using um, one, it's gonna be this cream color. And you can see there's actually one, two, three, like four different shades of blue. But I'm gonna be using one blue for these two colors. I'm going to be using a darker blue for this one. And with those two, I'm going to be getting this blue. So I'm going to start with this light blue first. So we're going to go to select color range. Use the eye drop. Select this. And here you can move it around to find it right. Because you don't want, let's say you want to do this like all the way and you get all this junk right here. So you just got to find it. And it all depends on the sign. Uh, click OK. And we're going to click this save channel as save selection as new channel. And here's your mid blue. I'm going to name this mid blue, so I'm double click on it. I'm going to name it mid blue. We're going to click spot color. Click on this color icon. And we're going to use the eyedropper just like that color. Click OK. Do 15%. And let's do the cream color. And control D to deselect everything. Select color range. And this side dropper here. Looks okay. Click okay. Same steps. Cream spot color. Again, same thing using the eye dropper. A lot easier. 15. Control D. And I'm actually gonna move this up since I try to do separations um, based on the order that's gonna go on the press. So right now we got your t-shirt, the other base, the cream, and the mid blue. So now let's do the red. Select color range. Let's do the red. Then here you're gonna move it around. And that looks pretty good. Click 
red it's my color percent let's see now let's do the dark blue oh well, these are the same steps you know it's just a, a repeat repeat Double click, name this blue, spot color. Fifty percent. Okay. So here's how the results so far. And again, we're gonna make adjustments, especially this red right here. You could tell it's not the design, but we could do that um, in a few moments. So right now, now we're gonna do is this blue. And the way I'm going to do this one is actually just going to be using the the wand tool because it's just two places. So and here I actually inverted. So I Control Shift I. Oh my bad, it was supposed to be this one. <clears throat> okay, now for this color, I'm going to be blending these two like I mentioned. And here on the design the Illustrator, the way I did it here is. Actually, um, on the bottom, it's 100% uh, mid blue and like kind of like a, a low opacity of the dark blue on top of it. So, basically, that's going to be doing the exact same thing in Photoshop. So, uh, we are going to duplicate this, but before I duplicate it, I'm going to make give this a little stroke to it. That way, the other base won't show here. So, I can do it only on this part, on this part, no, with the ma magic wand just selected and the edit stroke and i'm going to give this a six pixel stroke six pixel color and i use center that's the way i always do it click ok and there and if you zoom in you'll see that that stroke on there so control d and again we're going to duplicate this channel okay this one is going to be the mid blue so double click on it I'm just gonna put the M for now. Spot color and it's this one right here. Fifty percent. And this one is gonna be the blue. Fifteen as well. Okay, so. Let's go to layers because I ain't gonna make another, um, just another document so we can compare the colors. Let's see, let's just add a black background just real quick. So, not really necessary, but just so we can make the comparison a lot easier. And go window, arrange to up vertical. to this document and we're going to zoom in to it oh, it's not that much <laughs> okay okay so with the blue the dark blue selected we're going to go to image adjustments levels and we're going to bring this to the right basically this does is it makes the black um, lighter Just move and move and move and move in to get as close as we can possibly can. And I think that looks pretty good right there. So I click OK. So basically this is what I did. Okay, this was the original, but now it's this how it looks like a slider. And we are gonna be adding this to these other channels, like for example in this mid blue with this mid blue, but um I'm not gonna do that yet because I do need to choke the dark blue. But before we do that, I'm going to adjust the red layer as well. Because you can see the red, we want it to match it like that. So let's go to red, image, adjustments, levels. And we're going to bring it. That looks pretty okay. But again, right here, you can tell this one's, these are missing. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go just um, RGB, close the other channels, 
Uh, let me zoom out. And with the magic wand, we're going to select those circles. Now let's turn everything back on. Let's go to the red image adjustments and levels. And now this for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to move this white to the left. Basically, this what it does is anything that's white and it's going to add like a shade of black to it. And that looks pretty good right there. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So now we're going to do add is add a stroke to the blue. So select the blue. Edit. Oh, my bad. I had to control click on the blue layer, blue channel. Edit. Stroke six pixels click OK and they already gave it the it already gave it the little stroke to it you can see right there you could barely see it right there okay now you can see this one right here you don't have to really worry about it that much because these are going to be half tones this red right here but now let's add the uh, these blues to the regular channel so basically the way I do it is like for example um, Let's start with this, with the mid blue. I'm gonna do this control, select it. Go to the mid blue and just alt delete to paste it on there. And now for the blue, control and shift, click on it, click okay. Go to the blue, alt delete. And there, so basically we have all the separation is done. So on the other base, the cream, the mid blue, the red, and finding the blue. You can see. So now I can delete this right here, this one right here. Close that window down. And now we're gonna do now is turn to half tone. So one by one. Okay, um, before we continue to um, taking the channels and turning those to half tones, there's something I forgot to mention. I'm just realizing this right now as I'm editing it. Is there are some cases when you do a separation and sometimes it picks up colors that you don't want. For example, right here with the mid blue. If you zoom in, you'll see this. You don't want that. So before you um, uh, get the channel and turn to head tones, um, just erase that. It might take some time depending on the artwork, but yeah, just do that. It might not be really noticeable, but um, it's better to get rid of it. And all you gotta do is check on all of them. Just make sure you don't have, you know, colors around there. They usually do it with the, with the shirt in the background because it's a lot easier. Because without it, it's kind of like um, hard to notice. So yeah, just letting you know. Uh, for example, let's start with the under base. You know, right click, duplicate channel, uh, new document, name it under base. Click OK. And I'm gonna do that for the other ones. Okay. So this one, uh, we're gonna turn to a great scale. So image mode, great scale. Now this won't have any half tones, and this is just gonna be solid. And for the ones special, I'm gonna be doing is just again image, image mode, great scale, then image mode bitmap. And I always use this one, 300, 300, half tone. People use different here, but I use 300. That's the one I use and it works fine for me, but it depends on you. Click OK. And I'm gonna be using um, 50 LPI. Again, this is up to you, um, depending on the mesh screens that you use. And the angle is gonna be 22.5. Click OK. And once that's done, once there's a bitmap, I'm going to go image mode grayscale. Now this one, I really didn't need it. I just realized that right now because this this one's solid. So let me actually reverse that onto bitmap because that one wasn't really necessary. Uh, for example, the mid blue, yeah, I'm going to need that here because it does have this shading. So it's going to be half tones, it's adjustments. I mean, mode grayscale, image mode bitmap. 
300, 300, okay. 50 LPI, turn two and a half, click okay. See the sap tones. Image, turn it back to grayscale and click okay. And I'm gonna be doing that for the red and the blue. And luckily I already have some action starting to do that. Okay, blue, blue. And now it's just time to add the restriction marks and name the the colors. And luckily here I already have them. So I'm gonna do is just you know copy it and I'll paste into the base. Control V, click OK, enter. And now I'm gonna do is duplicate it to all the layers. I mean to all the other colors. So, Okay. Okay. So now the colors. So just regular text. Then delete these ones. And there. And because I say now, usually what I do is I just uh, flatten the layers for all of them. You don't really have to do this, but I do it. And now you could just file print, or in my case, I save it as a PDF because I do end up send, sending it out and they print it. So, for example, this might be the other base. So, I just under base save okay and i do it into the rest of them and this one too save this document that way later on if you want to make changes to it you can and if you have any questions uh, feel free to leave in the comments below and that's it